65 years old, Eddie Collins feels like a much younger man. I'm like a kid. I'm, I'm just, I'm in school right now. I'm learning. A week ago, Collins was released from prison and is learning about a world he hasn't seen since 1973. I passed by some places that uh, actually I didn't even know where we were. I trying to use a cell phone. Uh, when I go to stores now, uh, I've seen, the, I tend to wonder, look, I, I be wondering, looking at different stuff. Always looking over his shoulder these days, Collins' sisters welcoming him home, making sure he stays on track. He's like our dad. You know, he, he's the only male left in our family, and this, th that, this generation. If it don't be uh, for my sisters and the rest of my family, I really don't know what my frame of mind would be. Eddie's family is slowly introducing him to the simple things he missed for years. Yeah, I feel good, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I'm, <clears throat> I'm enjoying life, you know. And um, uh, I won't, I won't never, um, I won't never look over my shoulders no more, you know. You know, because I got, I have too much to be thankful for. Whitney Clark, King of Nine. On your side. The widow of the man who was shot and killed had testified in supporting Collins's release. The Arizona Justice Project and the Pima County Conviction Integrity Unit had been involved in the case for years. One 